What's up? We're here to talk to today about two things. Two things. Two things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the Plateau Pack from Trophy Line and the Carry All Your Stuff Pack from Trophy Line. We're going to compare the two and see which one is a better fit for you. But first, I got to start something out in the shed. <laughs> Not a little Christmas project. That's actually uh, Grandpa's buck that he got this year. So I gotta get that all cleaned up. We'll let that start simmering for a little bit. It's not what we're here to do today. Don't mind the new shanty. Um, but we're gonna get to what we were talking about. That's backpacks. If we're gonna break down backpacks into some simplistic kind of like streamlined ideas, you're gonna have a minimalistic style backpack, a do it your all backpack, and then like a frame pack that's for the animals that climb mountains and sleep in tents and carry 90 pounds to 150 pounds on their back. What we're discussing today is the bottom two. We're gonna talk like a streamlined backpack and kind of do it your all self backpack. Now, I'm gonna start off with the one that I preferably like the most. And the only reason that I like it the most is because it's the same style backpack that I've been using for most of my hunting life. And that backpack is that plateau style backpack. The reason why I like this backpack is because it's a few things. The way I'm gonna break it down is, is it just works for me. And it might work for you, but the case also might work for you better. I like this mainly for the biggest portion is this whole backside once on your back, this vents. So you're not gonna get a sweaty back walking in. But you've got enough room in this pack to carry all the essentials plus some. So with this backpack, you have five flap or zippered pouches, five. You've got the main compartment, which is where um, I generally would carry the camera equipment. Uh, the second compartment is more of your medium style compartment, zipper compartment. Inside of there, you've got basically a little bit of a divider if you wanted to put stuff and kind of keep it separate from each other. And then you've got a mesh pocket pouch on the inside of there, which I would usually put my tags in there or I'd put uh, like zip ties, I'd put hand warmers in there so they're not flying all over the place. And for the next zippered pouch, you have a side pocket and then you have your front zippered pouch, which is another nice small little pouch and that's great for whatever you want to put in there. And then on the very front, it's just a flat magnet type style pouch. And I generally put my, since it's like something I want to grab in dark, I would put my uh, headlamps in there. Now granted, most both of these backpacks are designed with like a saddle hunter in mind or at least a mobile hunter in mind, but it doesn't mean that this backpack's not gonna work for you. Basically what that means is it's just gonna come with some extra stuff. So this backpack would still work for you and if you wanna transition to saddle or mobile hunting, you've already got the backpack for it. So this has extra straps on top, extra straps on your shoulder pack, and extra straps on the bottom. And the way I generally would carry all my stuff in out of the saddle is I would put my sticks on the bottom, I would put then um, maybe like another jacket on top with the top straps or don't put anything. On the shoulder straps, obviously I'm gonna be putting my platform. Um, that is how that is set up for those straps. And you could put your sticks on the top of the pack instead of the bottom of the pack. You could put your clothes on the bottom of the pack. I just liked it so that my sticks were on the bottom. I could set it on the ground. Backpack was up off the ground, not getting wet if I'm in some swampy area. I really didn't do any modifications to the pack, either one of these packs. The only thing I do add to both of these packs is on your belt loop around the side, there's some molly webbing, and I'll put a couple loops of paracord. The only reason I put the paracord on there is if you're climbing with your pack, um, you can loop that paracord through your sticks, and your sticks could be hanging from your side of your backpack. I like to go up uh, in the tree one shot. So generally, 99.9% .9 of the time, my backpack is on my back. Therefore, with this one, I'm not sweating my butt off trying to climb up there. I've got my stick still on the side with that little paracord loop, and I got my saddle platform on my back. <coughs> Excuse me. That I can reach from the back of the pack, unhook, and then hook up to the tree. So that is the quick rundown of the plateau pack from Trophy Line. Uh, on to the next pack. Uh, the next pack is the case pack. Boom. Carry all your stuff. Uh, this pack has been out longer. Where is it? Forgive me. I was just just in uh, the woods with this just over the weekend. That's why it kind of looks all messy. But this backpack has been out um, extensively longer than the plateau pack. About a year separates the two of them. So I've had a lot more experience and time put in with this one than I do the plateau pack. 
why, can I, why am I having trouble saying plateau? Plateau, plateau. First things first, if you wanted to make this a hybrid backpack where a lot of people like a frame, something to kind of keep it against them a little bit better and, and divvy out the load, you could say. This case backpack comes with a slot in the back so you could put a preformed frame inside of there. Um, I've never used one personally. I don't really think I need it with this. If you put this and wear it correctly, you can be walking around with, well, <laughs> a whole bunch of rabbits inside and rabbits hanging off the back end, which weighs more than a saddle platform and sticks and everything else. This one comes with a lot of accessory options. When I say accessory, a lot of pouch options, a lot of zipper pockets, a lot of um, put the frame in there. You could run a hydration tube out through the top. Um, you've got a padded case. It's really nice. And for the price, if you were gonna buy one backpack to fit all of your needs, this might be the one. You have the pack on the front, the pocket in the, pocket in the front, and this is where I would keep again, like my zip ties. Um, I've got a pair of neoprene gloves in here right now. This pocket here doubles as holding your platform in place. So this would sandwich your platform up in there. Um, the next pocket you got coming in here is a padded plat uh, pocket. Um, I would put lenses and stuff like that in here. Right now I got a net gator, but oh, I got two net gators. I would put my, say, valuable items. If you're going in the woods cell filming and you got another extra lens or something like that, this pocket's good for protecting it, or a small laptop. <clears throat> and then you got some accessory pockets. Yeah, this one's like felt line, so it's quiet. They're pretty much all quiet. The loudest one is your protective one, and that's because, if I remember correctly, this protective pocket is rainproof. And then you've got the inside, <clears throat> which comes with a lot of mesh zipper pockets, and uh, a nice, oh, here's that. I've been looking for that bone saw. Um, and then a nice, like another laptop st style pocket. So that's it for your main front compartments. That's your main front. Gosh, I got stuff flying out everywhere. You'd think I'd be more prepared to do this video. So the next thing is, this one's nice because it actually comes with these side pockets, one right here. And these are non-zippered, these are open top, and there's one on this side. So again, back to the self-filming type of things. This side I would put my camera arm in and the other side I would generally put either that selfie stick, that 360 camera, or put that up in here where the frame's supposed to go. It's just nice that it's something that you can, for a long item that you might carry with you, say like an, a buck knife or something, you can just drop that right in there and you don't have to worry about it flopping around all over the place. It's meant for something tighter. Uh, and then on top of it, they zip on the sides. So you got the open end of the pocket and then you've got another outside pocket that you could put stuff in. I would put external batteries in there. Um, if you're carrying batteries with it, you, you got hand warmers, you could put your drinks in there. If you didn't want to put your drink on this extra mesh pocket on the outside. It's just, you can carry so much in this thing. It's it's like a workhorse style backpack. I use like, so this since this one, since the case pack has been out the longest, let me hang it back up here. And I, I instantly started taking it out there for, um, uh, Preseason scouting, hanging trail cameras, then rolling into deer season, carrying all my saddle stuff, and then rolling into trapping season, I would carry some traps in there, busting through some, busting through some brush, and then uh, for small game hunting, I, that I, if I remember correctly, it had 12 rabbits inside of it, and I had another five hanging off the back end. That is a sweet backpack for me. That's the all-around type kind of backpack I'm talking about. Granted, when I was just hunting last weekend up north, sleeping out of my truck. I don't know if you can see the sacks underneath my eyes, but uh, I'm pretty tired. I took the case pack with me because I was carrying a bunch of extra stuff. I had an extra layer shirt, I had uh, cleaning gloves, I had knives, I had um, um, all of my camera equipment because I was carrying this camera, which then I, on the backpack I had all of my um, saddle gear so I had sticks I had my platform I had my camera arm I had my camera base and I still had plenty of room for all of it if I was gonna break it down this way if I was only gonna buy one of these backpacks and I was focused on deer hunting the one backpack I would buy would be the plateau backpack plateau backpack I can't talk today but that you get what I'm saying if I'm gonna focus on one thing it's the plateau because I think that is more versatile through all the entire season. And that's not focusing on saddle hunting. That's just focusing on the versatility of the backpack. Now, if I was going to buy one single backpack where I was focused on how much I could use it the entire year for all the species that I chase, or fishing even, carrying tackle boxes in there, 
I would go with the case backpack because you're gonna carry all that <laughs> in that backpack. And that's what that's more designed for because it can carry everything. So if you wanna break it down like that, it's you have a focused streamlined backpack for one type of species and you have the case backpack that's meant for a very broad spectrum of hunting because these are not designed just for saddle hunting. And that's nice. If you made it to the end of this video, appreciate you. And for that, a reminder that we have a 10% off code for anything trophy line, link in the description. So at the very least, it's gonna save you some money. And if you would like to, like and subscribe this video. Um, that'd be greatly appreciated because, I mean, you made it this far. I mu you must not be sick of me yet, so you probably wanna watch some more stuff with me or either Derek or relatives. And we got some good stuff coming up. I'm getting a lot of requests on Dad's Buck from opening day of gun season here in Michigan. Uh, I gotta go visit the taxidermist and I'll show you guys a skull plate of that. Either way, whether you subscribe or not, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. I gotta go back to checking the skull so I can finish my Christmas shopping. Or at least finish the gifts. So thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Miss you. Miss you.